Hi friends, in this video I will show how to install Docker in Windows 10 without using Docker Desktop. Let's see the agenda now. I will start with Docker Desktop is not free for all, followed by how to use Docker without Docker Desktop. After that, we will see the commands to install Ubuntu in Windows using WSL2. And then we will see commands to install Docker and Docker Compose in the Linux distro. Finally, we will see the quick demo of these commands. Docker Desktop is not free for all. Docker has changed Docker Desktop terms. This prevents large enterprises from using Docker Desktop for free, including for the development purpose. But still, Docker Desktop is free for personal use and for the smaller organization. To understand how Docker classify large or small organization, please visit their official website. Always refer the product's official website to get up-to-date information on terms and condition, disclaimers, usage policy, which is beyond the scope of this video. Though Docker Desktop is not open source, we can still use Docker and Docker Engine in all types of environments. We have seen why large enterprises cannot use Docker Desktop for free. Now let's see what is the alternative suggested by Docker. We can install a Linux distro using WSL2. WSL is abbreviation for Windows Subsystem for Linux. It's the feature which allows developer to run a GNU or Linux environment directly on Windows without the overhead of a dual boot setup or the VM. Then we can install Docker Engine and Docker Compose inside those Linux distro and then we can start using it. We have seen enough theory now. Let's move to the next section to see the overview of commands. I want to start with prerequisite. We need to check whether the Windows we use supports WSL2 version. If it's Windows 11, definitely then it supports WSL2 version. But if it's Windows 10, then we need to check its version and build number. Please open the run command, type winver command to see the version and build number of the Windows. So the version should be 2004 or higher. Build number should be 19041 or higher for the Windows to support WSL2 version. Please ensure the Windows you use support WSL2 version before moving to the next step. Once we verified the prerequisites, next we need to enable the Windows subsystem for Linux feature. In Windows search bar, type turn Windows features on or off and open Windows feature window. Then please select Windows subsystem for Linux checkbox at the bottom of the window and then click OK. Wait for the installation to complete and reboot the system when prompted. Now let us see the commands to install Ubuntu. Open the command prompt and please execute the following commands. The second command, which is an install command, would take little more time as it would download the OS. Then it would prompt to enter the username and password. Please provide the username and password. This username and password need not be same as your Windows username and password. It is an one-time activity. The last command will list containers and its WSL version. If Ubuntu is installed successfully, then it would be listed in the result of this command. In case if Ubuntu is installed as a WSL version 1, then please follow the below instruction to set it to WSL version 2. If it is already installed as WSL 2 version, then please skip this section. When executing the last command which is a set version command, it might error out with an error message and a URL to install a kernel package. Please follow the instruction in the given URL and install the required kernel package. We have successfully installed Ubuntu in Windows search bar please type Ubuntu and it should get listed in the app category. Please click it to open the Ubuntu terminal. Once the Ubuntu terminal is open, to install Docker, please follow these commands. I have taken these commands from Docker's official website to install the product in Ubuntu. In case of network error while running apt-get update command, please update the name server IP to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 in slash etc file. Just to summarize these commands, we add the Docker's GPG key and then we set up the repository. Then we can install Docker Engine, Docker CLI and Docker Compose using apt-get install command. You can verify whether the installation is successful by running service docker status command. If the docker has not been started, please use service docker start command to start it and run hello world application to check whether the application runs fine in docker. 
if all this command executed successfully without any error then our docker installation is successful finally you can run docker compose version command to check whether the docker compose has been installed successfully if the docker compose has been installed it prints the docker compose version let me quickly recap the steps we have seen till now we started with checking whether windows version supports wsl2 then we turned down windows subsystem for linux and virtual machine platform feature as a third step install ubuntu in wsl2 and finally open ubuntu terminal and install docker and docker compose now let's see the quick demo of these commands first let's start with the prerequisite to check the prerequisite let me go to windows search and then type run command and then please type the command winver and click ok this displays the windows build number and version number i have already checked my build number and version number it satisfy the condition to support wsl2 as the next step i will go and turn on the windows feature please go to windows search bar type turn windows features you would be able to see this app please click on it and go to the bottom of the window and enable windows subsystem for linux feature i have already enabled it but also please ensure virtual machine platform feature is also checked so this feature also is required for wsl2 to work properly so and then click okay so windows will install this feature and please reboot the system if it prompts windows have completed installing the feature and it prompts for reboot please click restart now once the system is rebooted please open the command prompt now let us run the command to set the default version of wsl as 2 so this is the command so we got the successful message now let's run the install command to install ubuntu and this is the command to install ubuntu so as you can see uh, it's downloading the ubuntu os it might take a while let's wait yeah it has now completed the download it's now installing ubuntu okay so we have got an error message to um install the kernel component so we need to visit this page and then we need to install the required kernel component i have followed the instruction in the given url and i have installed the required kernel component so let us continue now i'm just retriggering the install command now it prompted me to enter the username and password please provide the username and password and remember the credentials you provide after providing the username and password the installation is successful let us close this prompt and try to open it again go to windows search bar and type ubuntu you can see that ubuntu is listed in the app category please click it to open the prompt we can now continue with running the commands to install docker so l- first update the apt uh, package managers indexes using this command sudo apt get update so please enter the password when it's prompted now the package manager is index is getting updated let's wait for this update to complete now the update is completed let's run the next command please type yes to use to allow the ubuntu to use the disk space so now let's run the next command to create the keyring directory and then let's run this curl command to install the gpg key and then finally let's run this command to set up the repository let me so 
so once again let's run the package manager update to pull the versions of docker because we have set up the repository so this is the important point part so we will run the apt get install command to install docker docker cli and docker compose so once again please provide yes so this would take some time to install docker let us come back now the command has executed successfully without any error let us run docker status command to check the status of docker whether it is running or not so docker is not running let me first start the docker by using service docker start command so saying starting docker so let us once again check the status using status command now docker is running now let's run the hello world application in docker by using docker run hello world the hello world image might not be there locally so it would try to fetch the image and then it would run the hello world yes if you see this message hello from docker then uh, it's uh, successfully installed and running the hello world application next run docker compose version command to check whether docker compose has been installed successfully so you can see the docker compose version v2.6.0 has been printed so docker compose also has been successfully installed that's all for this video i hope you like this video if you really like the content please like the video share it with your friends and subscribe my channel thanks a lot and see you soon in another video